Now that it's been a year since I last coded your ideas into Minecraft, well, two weeks, but I mean... <laughs> Happy New Year! I thought it would be fun to do it again. So, that's what I did. I coded your ideas into Minecraft again. 76% of the people watching this video are not currently subscribed. That's right, you brought that down from 80%, so thank you very much for doing that. If you enjoy the video, consider subscribing. It would really help my channel out a lot. Alright, back to the video. Hey, before we continue, let me know what ideas you have for Minecraft. Who knows, maybe I'll select them and add them in the next episode. Go ahead, in the comments, right down there. ALV Hawk says, Mobs for the desert. What if there was a cactus creature that blended into the environment and then chased you whenever you got close? I love this idea. I mean, after all, the desert is one of the most bland biomes in all of Minecraft. So anytime we can add a new mob to the game, I am with it. Oh, uh, <laughs> let alone add a new mob to the desert. So that is where Cactus Jack comes in. This is a new mob that would spawn exclusively in the deserts and specifically would camouflage itself around existing cactuses. Now let me give you an example of exactly what this looks like. So as you can see here, we have got ourselves a cactus jack and they shoot what looks like shulker shells, but it's actually just kind of a little prickly cactus thing, you know, and it does a little bit of damage. And if you get close, if you hit it, uh, it's kind of acting a little weird at the moment. I think it uh, might not be working the best at the, there we, oh, uh, it's, uh, come on, you can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. You can do it. Oh, well, why don't we just try that again? See, the way they're supposed to work is they're supposed to essentially fly up in the air like that. There we go. I don't I don't know why they're not all doing it, but as you can see, it looks really cool. And you wouldn't expect it considering it blends in with the existing cactus. And it chases you and shoots you with these things, which do damage and quite a bit of damage as well. And that is why we need a diamond sword, or really any sword for that matter. And whenever you kill them, they will drop a prickly pear fruit, which as you would assume is edible. So we could go ahead and eat it. But as you can see, it does do a little bit of damage. I mean, it is, you know, spiky. You would expect it to, after all. Something is pointing as, you know, a prickly pear. But I think this is awesome because not only is it fun, it's a new mob for Minecraft, especially one we haven't already seen that flies, but it also gives us a food source that we can obtain in the desert. So yeah, this is awesome. Great suggestion. Lukey Boy says, bro, get this. Died saddles. No, no, wait, hang on. <clears throat> Died saddles. <laughs> I mean, hey, I mean, why not? At the end of the day, the more customization that we can get, the better. So, diable saddles, I mean, it makes sense. And it's something that I'm actually surprised we don't have already. This works exactly as you would imagine it does. Use die to die the saddles. It's a little bit hard to see here because of the tint that was already on the saddle, but that's okay. We'll just ignore that for now. As you can see, we can then put the saddle on the pig or the strider or the horse. You name it. Customize your animals with dyed saddles. This is a good idea. Zalco Beck Endgame said you could add a new type of redstone component called the placer and the breaker. It would place and break blocks. Now this, this is more like it. What's going on? You'll have to uh, pardon me. <laughs> I'm a little hyper today. But that being said, this is the placer and this is the breaker. Two blocks that look kind of identical, but they're different. They are very different. They are distinctively amazing in their own way. And if these two blocks were added into Minecraft, redstone would be changed forever. So, let me give you an example of how this could work. Now, originally I was very, uh, you know, I just, I didn't know if this would be good because the idea of two redstone blocks that can break and place blocks seems a little crazy, but it's actually really, really cool. So, as you can see here, if we go ahead and just pop on down here and place these levers, you can see that with the placer, we've got a diamond block and, of course, a diamond pickaxe in the breaker. And we can place... A block as you can see here and now it's not in there and we are good to go and this works but I guess I'm gonna have to pick this up which I guess I'm gonna need this kind of doesn't really work for the example that I was trying to do but <laughs> there we go we'll act like that never happened and we can mine the diamond block now it seems simple but let me show you exactly why this would be amazing
I was kind of having a little bit of trouble there. <laughs> I don't know if you could really tell. Not sure what was going on there. But as you could see, cobblestone generator automatic. With the breaker, the diamond pickaxe in the container, we are good to go with an infinite supply of cobblestone and junk stone bricks. Let's just get rid of those. But as you can see, this is one of the really cool ways that we could use a breaker. Especially for something like Skyblock Minecraft. This could be a game changer. Being able to infinitely create cobblestone. Now that being said, I could completely understand why this wouldn't be added to the game. But still, this would be awesome. You know I'm not a redstone genius or anything, but I'm sure a tree farm is definitely possible with a block like the breaker. But then again, I don't know, because this is all I could create. Not a redstone genius, how many times I gotta tell you? Uh. <laughs> this is about as the coolest thing I could come up with. Uh, and it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> so, the placer and the breaker. I think these would be great ideas for Minecraft. I don't necessarily think that we'll ever get them just because of the nature of what they could bring to the game. I mean, if these were movable with pistons, which in this case they're not because they're tile entities, but if they were, like in Bedrock, I mean, imagine the possibilities of having a block that can move around and break anything in its path and also place anything. I mean... The machines would be endless. I just wish I could give you an example. But again, I, I'm, you know, no redstone pro. But that's okay. That's not a bad thing. I do think I want to make a video adding different redstone mechanics to Minecraft, though. Because at this point, we've done a couple things. We even added magnets to Minecraft. If you haven't seen that yet, click the i card at the top right corner. Arya P actually suggested auto-smelting. But I have a new idea for enchanting in general. So... Let's use this as a segue. What if Minecraft had ancient enchanted books? Enchantments that you could only obtain by adventuring in the world. They could never be obtained otherwise through the enchanting table. These would be exclusively found in loot chests in very difficult areas, like the deep dark. My friends, if you watch the Minecon Live video, chances are, whenever they were showing the Warden, you saw that they actually had a structure, possibly created by them, more than likely created by them, in the deep dark biome. I like to believe that in the Caves and Cliffs update, we'll see more structures, much like this one. If not, you know, a, a little bit better, let's be honest. This is a little shabby, but that's okay. And in the loot chest, you would actually find ancient enchanted books. In this case, we've got a normal enchanted book with auto smelting. There are a lot of data packs and a lot of mods that add this very thing into the game. So you are definitely no stranger to it. So I thought it would be really cool if instead we talk about how ancient enchantments could be added that can only be obtained through adventuring. Because after all, enchantments like this would definitely be very, very cool. I mean, who wouldn't want to be able to mine iron ore and skip the smelting process? I know I would! Which as a side note, do you think it should work with fortune? I actually don't know if this does. I haven't tested it or not, but... Uh, it, oh, it actually does. Wow. <laughs> this could be really cool. I know the survival in me really wants it, but I do see how it could be overpowered. But let me know what you think. Do you think ancient enchantments should be added to Minecraft? And if so, what type of enchantments do you think could be added? There are all sorts of really cool enchanting abilities that are just waiting to be found in loot chests all around the new caves of Minecraft 1.17. That being said, before we go, that is the end of the video. But I actually wanted to give you a little sneak peek as to what's coming on the channel this Friday. I'm going to be doing a makeover, or at least my version of what I imagine the deep dark biome could look like. So before you go, let me know in the comments below how you imagine the deep dark biome, home of the warden, will look in Minecraft 1.17. Now's your only chance. I'm excited. I hope you are too. It's going to be really cool. Hey! How's it going? <laughs> well, well, well. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Just kidding. For real. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of a video. That's apps. What's that? You've, you've watched multiple videos all the way to the... <sighs> You are my favorite. You know, you are my favorite. So much so that I've selected two videos just for you. If you click to the right, you can watch how I gave Copper Ore an update for Minecraft. 
and to the left you can watch 50 things that should be in the game. It's like an hour long and I think you'll love it. It's, it's a very, very awesome video. But that being said, I was sick last week, which is why I didn't upload a video. But I was still working on something very cool that you'll see very soon. But that's going to do it for today. My name has been System C. You have been awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.